Checker President Costin Davis says, I want to make it perfectly clear to all those concerned that the NAACP has not endorsed or will be participating in this march. Meanwhile, march organizers are reaching out to other parts of the state trying to rally support. John Shabazz is with a group called Black Lawyers for Justice. He is not related to Malik Shabazz, an attorney from Washington, D.C., who's known for making controversial statements. Today, John Shabazz held a news conference on the WVU campus in Morgantown to explain why Malik Shabazz got involved. We had to, to some extent, maybe take this out of the hands of the state political people and seek help outside of the state. But we also send a message out to our African-American professionals that are lawyers uh, and preachers and so forth that we want you to be a part of this November 3rd march and the uh, November uh, 2nd big prayer vigil at the trailer where this uh, sister was done so bad. Preparation. They don't get the room. Nobody. Mm-hmm. He can't even get in. Right. So you want me to try to catch up with him, right? Yes, ma'am. Miss Owen, now, uh, one of the things that we do need, and I, I talked to uh, Attorney Malik about this, is that mm -hmm. we need assistance with transportation because as a state investigator, i got to be honest with you, right, I want to be able to be in and out of Charleston mm -hmm. to be able to make sure that we can develop uh, the type of uh, people on the ground here necessary to keep this movement up. Mm -hmm. Because not only Charleston, it's actually the I-79 corridor that is actually experiencing a resurgence in racism. I'm also from Western Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, north of Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. So we want to be able to look out and develop other investigators and attorneys mm -hmm. all up and down this corridor. Yeah. Well, we need people like you all over the corridor that's called the United States of America. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma and you as well, you know. Um, okay, my email address is hq2600 okay. at gmail, gmail dot com. That comes directly to me. Okay. HQ as in headquarters 2600 at gmail.com. I'll definitely uh, be looking at that and uh, let me turn this off. That's great. Nice to meet you. Well, I think I may have seen you on television. And what do you hope uh, is accomplished by tonight's privilege? First of all, we are here because we support Megan and her family. And we support all victims of hate crimes. We want people to know that hate crimes are real and that this era of hatred has not ended in our country. And um, we are thankful that there is legislation in place in West Virginia to address the issue of hate crimes. Unfortunately, on the federal level, it was deemed that this that happened to Megan was not a hate crime. But going down tonight, participating in, in this prayer vigil before tomorrow's march, what good will that do? Well, of course, uh, prayer is always helpful. And we want to ground all of our activities in our faith and in what is right and just. My schedule is not yet being set. What, what do you hope is accomplished through this? Well, certainly, as I just said, that we want to draw attention to the fact that hate crimes exist. Now we know that it's not just Charleston, it's not just West Virginia, it's our country. We have some unfinished business, and we hope that by being here and supporting Megan and her family and the people, of Charleston that uh, we will draw attention to that unfinished business. How do you feel about the fact that there seems to be a bit of a divide about how to do this to support Megan and to uh, draw attention to these issues? You know, we've got um, the Black Israel Alliance and some other people that are saying, you know, we don't want to go to this march and don't support it. And yet, you know, hearing what you say, you know, you're just trying to get some things changed. So how do you feel about that? Uh, you're the one who's talking about division. We're talking about hope. We're talking about our faith, and we're talking about justice. 
Uh, one last question, if you don't mind. You met with the family. How did they feel? Hey, did you talk to Megan? Yes, I did. And uh, words don't begin to describe what has happened to us. Thank you. Thank you, Congressman. This is hard. This is hard. Yes. You guys satisfied? Thank you for your help. But over the last 10, 15 years, the largest, the student population is largely a Caucasian population, right? And you're saying that the, the professors and so forth down there, they're largely Caucasian, Caucasian, as, Caucasian as well. Okay. I'm from the hip hop generation, man. Let's rock. Three four four nine eight seven zero ninety eight point seven to beat us to Woody Wood show. He said he throw the bad Yeah, special dedication. Ain't no way to live behind. Sending this one out. Yes, sir. And, yes, sir. And, 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 and truthfully, you know, we're not gonna let this little injustice discourage us as a people. We're gonna stand up and we're gonna fight. So, so you would say, and, and now I suggested to you that home ownership would be one of the clearest devices where you'd be able to check yes, and see whether or not there's been fairness in the city. Yes, sir. I believe that we need a black home ownership program so we can help our own brothers and sisters out. Because obviously America and the man ain't doing it. Ain't nobody helping us out. They taking our money and putting us well on welfare. You see what I'm saying? They said in the black society we was covered with AIDS. And I thought Patterson's in the rescue. We haven't eaten in days. So they want us to be straight junkies and fiends while they loan ourselves esteem and they're still killing our dreams. we still facing racism and segregation. Lack of knowledge is getting destroyed by our nation. Still, our undercover slavery and innovation is getting praised by the political nation. If unity is supposed to be our weapon, then why food stamps that the government gives us is herpes to cause a welfare infection? That's all I got to say. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the family of Megan Williams, let's give them a round of applause. Probably our future president, <laughs> Cynthia McKinney. Uh, something in the air and the atmosphere and even the weather tells me that we are on the verge of a historic moment. And even the vibe in the atmosphere here in this room would tell me that we're on the eve of something very special. And so I just want to thank all of you for uh, uh, participating and for really supporting Megan Williams. You know, a lot of this has gotten off track, but really we were bringing this full circle about what it was intended to be about, and that is to support this family and to support Megan Williams. And so how many, we just want to know, how many of you want to go out to Logan right now, to the, vig to, to the vigil out of the trailer? How many want to do that with us? That's almost everybody. Okay, and then what we're going to do, dear family, is... And I'm sure there are others who will maybe speak now so we can just have a little pre-program here. Or maybe we'll have prayer. But what we'll try to do is we'll take a moment to go arrange the logistics so that the cars and the vans and everything is lined up right, that nobody gets lost, and that it's done professionally and with courtesy and dignity, and that everybody goes safely and returns safely. And that's going to take us for a few moments just to go in the room and make sure this happens right. But I wanted to, just for a few moments, to allow some of the others that are helping to host this. You know, we're working as a team. And to help them to host this, just to say thanks, and then we'll have a word of prayer, and then we'll work on some logistics, and then we'll move on out as we're on the verge of, of I believe, history making in this state. So I'm going to turn it over to the man who's, first of all, this is his restaurant here. And uh, hallelujah. 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 <laughs> And you all should be buying some wings. We did. And we ate them too. Everybody, I mean, I'm going to be front. You know, I mean, I say we should support the businesses in our community. Support. This is a model example of what is being done. And so I'm going to introduce to you our pastor. We also have Bishop James Carter, who is the spiritual advisor to the family, our dear brother as well. We'll hear from him tomorrow as well. And so we're coming together in unity. 
It has been some turbulence. It's been some friction. But God is working in this. And he's working to heal the people that have been divided. And we will come out of this a stronger and a greater people. So I introduce to you Pastor Paul Dunn. Too much time, but I think that all of the attacks that has gone on with Brother Malik, if I was a man drowning and a Buddhist came by with a life preserving vest, I would not refuse to help. So I want to ask everybody, let's give Brother Malik a hand clap. Yeah. of a historic event that's going to happen here in West Virginia, and I'm just glad to be a proud uh, pastor of people who want to be a part of something that's positive and that's going to move forward without a glitch. And so we're just going to call on Almighty God to be with everybody tonight and tomorrow as we do wonderful things that's going to move God's people in a positive direction. And so I want to once again just thank Malik for coming, and I want to also continue to ask everybody, let's keep the focus on Megan and the principle of why we're here and leave the personalities out of it. I'm a former congresswoman, but she's always, she's still my congresswoman, even if I wasn't in that district. Cynthia McKinney, let's, let's bring her. Thank you. So 
I think that uh, we don't want to waste too much time because I know we don't want to be in Logan County too late. <laughs> we got about an hour. <laughs> There will be plenty of words and speeches tomorrow, brothers and sisters. It will be a beautiful program. We want you to really get there before 10 a.m. There are going to be choirs that will be singing. There's going to be special rap songs that have been made for the march. There's going to be prayer. There's going to be libation. And then we have a beautiful program scheduled before the march. And so what we want to do right now, I guess, is we all want to, let's join hands in the prayer circle. Come on, Pastor Glasgow, Minister in Zing. Master of the New Black Panther Party. <laughs> and all of us, I think that uh, this all makes an unbreakable chain. And uh, just hold on tight. Just make sure the brothers and sisters in the back, let's not let them out either. Yes. Let's just all get a chain going. And I'll let the. Uh, I'll let the ministers take it from here. We want to know that uh, God is real. We want to know if God wasn't real, we wouldn't talk about Moses. We wouldn't be talking about Daniel and the lions then. We wouldn't have talked about the little boy named David conquering the giant. We wouldn't be talking about Harry and Tubman and freedom. We wouldn't be talking about, yea, though we walk through the valley. We're going to Logan County because we fear no evil. Because we're God-fearing and only God-fearing. That's why we can stay to midnight if y'all want to. We'll be all right because that's why we're going to pray and we're going to take our God with us. Yes. Because God is a fixer. Yes. Cynthia McKinney is a witness to that. And little Megan, just like the Dr. King, 20 years old, didn't know what he was going to be used for. But he told God to use him. And that little Megan going to be used. And I don't see what they see. I see a little lady that's going to be listened to all around the world. And when Megan speaks, the world is going to listen. Because God got his way of picking and choosing. That ain't our business. But we know we're here because of Megan. I know when I seen the little girl on the TV screen, what it did to my soul, I couldn't sit in the rocking chair. I couldn't sit with the armrest. And I got four daughters sitting under my knees looking at me. I had to get up. Because a good shepherd will leave the safe to go get the one that needs to help. That's why we're here. They can say what they want, but Dr. King had to go to Birmingham. Right. He had to write the letter from the Birmingham jail telling the pastors, we can't wait. That's right. We can't cool off or we'll be in a deep freeze. He said the whole world is moving with jet like speed and they want us to move at the pace of a horse and buggy. As human beings and humanity, we can't accept that. We're going to get on the main street. If you're going to fly in helicopters, we're going to fly in helicopters. If you're going to fly in airplanes, we're going to fly in airplanes. Why? because we're human too. So we're not, this is not about race and racism, this is about humanity. What we want to do is, we're going to line the vehicles up, and if possible, let's try to posse up together, and try to ride together in as many vehicles as possible, so we'll have, not, so we have a, as less amount of vehicles as possible to try to make it through this. We have some experience in moving caravans and vehicles, and so we're going to go outside right now. Come on, Mr. Prashim. And we're going to take care of this. Yeah. Ten. 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 Yeah, I took some ten miles. Yeah. Bad, too. Yeah. Logan, where else, Mark? It's more than those three places. Wichita County. Uh -oh. Wichita County. Mm -hmm. What about Wyoming County? Yep. This one go there to sell clothes. Ain't crazy. Areas around through here, which area is known to, to be the most virulently racist? Logan and Sissonville. Yep, Sissonville. <laughs> Logan and Sissonville. Got it. At night in Sissonville, if you ride past Sissonville at night around 12, 12.30 at night, you'll see a red cross burn. Stop playing. I'm not playing. I seen it when I was coming down here from the Greyhound. Brothers and 
and sisters, we come here to this vigil so that we can get an idea of what Megan went through. We've come here because others were afraid to come here, but we are not afraid. Is that right? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And we have come here to call on the God that we serve to ask for strength to deal with what happened out here. And so I'll turn it over to the mother who should speak first. The mother of young Megan, who really has had to deal with this on a much deeper level than we can imagine, Ms. Carmen Williams. sisters, we have to understand that this has been going on amongst our people ever since 1555, ever since we've come to the shores of America, we've experienced tears over and over and over again. But we know that of all of the tragedies we suffered, all of the rapes that we have endured, all of the lynchings that we have endured, all of the atrocities that black people have faced here in America, we still believe in our God. That's right. Teach. And know that our God has brought us through the worst of times. That's right. That's right. The worst of atrocities. Yes. The worst of abuses. Yes. The worst of neglect. Now you want to talk about hate. What well, we are now is a house of hate. And what Megan has endured here, endured here, no person no. deserves at no time. And no woman should have to go through what she went through here. And that's why we're here. We have to come out here and just try to get a glimpse or a sense of the pain and the suffering that went on here. And that's why we travel these back roads. Jeez. And so I'm gonna call on Pastor Kenneth Glasgow to take us on. Lord, we come before you, dear Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. Asking you where there's hate, put love, Lord. Where there's sadness, put gladness. Where people are downtrodden and poverty-stricken, put riches in your glory. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask you right now that you will bring rest upon this unwanted situation. The situation that Megan went through. Being here six days and heinous crimes and insidious crimes. Being committed to a sexually abused. Mm. Then, Lord, let our cries turn into glory and laughter. Man. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us the opportunity to come before you and for keeping her alive. Yes. 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 And giving us yes. life. Yes. Where there's death, we bring life. Yes. Where they don't want us to march, we bring life. Yes. Where they don't want us to be and stand up for ourselves, we call upon you, Lord, and your angels yes. to stand up yes. with us. Oh, yes. And as Gideon, mm -hmm. as David, mm -hmm. and as all the prophets of old mm -hmm. had to go through going against the religious leaders of their time, going against those who stood against them of their time. We stand before you, God, in your righteousness, standing Ooh, yes. up for your people. For you said yes. when we stand and do yes. something for the least of these, mm. we have done it unto you. You take that personal. You said when you do it unto the least, you do it unto me. And Megan is the least. But God, we are here for you. We stand in your righteousness, stand in your way and your glory. Teach. Teach. Amen. 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 Teach. Bishop Carter. Father, we thank you for the courage you. that we had in coming to find out how our sister endured such hateful things that were done to her. We bless you because you rescued her. We have her back. Teach. Father, we ask that you heal her soul, mind, and body. Teach. For she has to wake up every morning with this nightmare. And God, we ask that you cover her with your blood. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, we ask. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Dear God, I want to ask us for the power to deal with these situations. I want to call on our God to give us the strength to bring justice down on those that committed these wicked acts. Amen. To bring justice down on those who made Megan eat rat feces, mm -hmm. dog feces. Mm -hmm. yes. Bring justice and the wrath of God down on those who made her drink urine out here. For those that, that according to what we read in the police reports and the confessions in court, 
who stuck sticks up the behind of the anus of the young man. We call for the just justice that God can bring. Because as Jesus say in the New Testament, as a man sow it, that shall he also reap. And so we are here to call on the God of justice to set justice in this situation and to give his people, our people, the power to stand up and organize and deal with this. Thank you. And so if anybody wants to ask the question, why are we marching? Mm -hmm. Why are we organizing? You have to come right here and understand the kind of pain. Pain. The kind of suffering. Suffering. That we have to endure over and over and over again. But some of us are tired and sick and tired of being sick and tired. Yeah. Come on. And have determined that we're going to stand up like men and women. Yeah. And in the name of God, struggle and fight for justice and deal with those that are constantly abusing and oppressing our people. Yeah. How could a human beings do this? Mm. How could a human with human qualities degrade and torture this young lady like, like she suffered here? How can human beings do this? I continue to contend to you that it couldn't have been human beings that tortured young Megan in this house. No human being would do this if they had to be devils in human form. Oh, Come yes. on now. Yes. Come on. Sister Doris. Holy Angels, we're calling up on you right now from the north, south, east, and west to stand up on your post as we pray for Sister Megan and her mother, Carmen, and Father Matthew, Lord Jesus. We ask him for your healing hand, your miracle hand, Lord Jesus, right now to touch that family. Touch him, touch him, touch him. We're calling up on you right now to heal them, not only mentally and physically, but spiritually, Lord mm. Jesus, in yes. time yes. and need. Yes. We need your guidance. Yes. through the path of righteousness right now. For your name's sake, Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, continue to touch them and open up the floodgates from heaven and let your anointed blood to continue to flow from the crowns of their heads to the soles of their feet. And we're calling up on peace right now. Peace yes, within, peace, peace without, peace. peace all around, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 We need to pray for Megan. We gotta pray for Megan. Yes. We don't know what sister's thinking. We don't know what's really going on with her right now. Teach. We don't know what the lifelong effects will be of what has happened to our dear beloved young sister here in this house. Mm -hmm. But we have to know that God is using her. Mm -hmm. So he asked the question, well, why did her mother allow her to be uh, photographed and her face be out there? We have to ask, the, and others were asked the question, well, why was she put in this position? We have to understand that God's hand is in this. Yes. We have to understand that God has a plan for young Megan mm -hmm. and that she could have been killed, that she could have been chopped up, she could have been thrown in the lake, but God reached in the fiery flames of this horrendous house of hideous hate and pulled our young sister up, and pulled her out of here. Mm -hmm. And now, she herself will be used by God. By God. By used by God as an example to women. That's right. And an example for our people. That's right. And used in a special and divine way. As this process is a, is a process of healing for her. We have to support her. Yes. We come and coming from all over the country to let everybody know that we support Megan Williams. Yes, yes sir. We're yes, not going to leave her out here in West Virginia, in Come on now. with 2% black population, mm. and leave this family just out here with nobody to defend them. They have to know that the nation and that our people around the nation and around the earth are ready to come to their aid and come to their defense. And so we thank God for even just being able to make this journey yes. Yes. as we yes. get ready to go up Perish. here and see strength. what's happening in this house, to feel what she feels. But we got to pray for strength. Yes. Pray for strength. Yes. Pray for justice. justice. Pray for pray for a God that will deal with the satanic forces that interfere with our lives. That's right. That's right. And that's what we call on a stronger and a better day for our people. Yes, sir. We gotta pray for Sister Carmen here. Mm -hmm. Pray for the mother. Touch her heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bring the healing. That's right. Bring the justice. Yes. Bring the angels. Not just from us, everybody that want to help her should come to her aid right now. Oh, yes. Help the family. 
Mm -hmm. Even if you're not with us, come to the aid yeah. of Megan and the family. Mm -hmm. Even if you disagree with me or disagree with some of us that are here, that doesn't interfere with you coming to the aid of Mother Carmen yes, and the family. Oh, yeah. and this should be a lifelong commitment. Lifelong. And not just a commitment that is just for a few days or a few weeks yeah. while the spotlight is on this particular case. Mm -hmm. Never again never should again. we allow never black again. women to be never mistreated again. in this never way. Again. Never again should we allow our women, I'm talking to the black men here, God's men, should we allow our women to suffer like this and fear when we as grown men, as men of God, should be standing in the road, standing in the path and standing up and in the name of God putting down any attack that is laid against our people. And so anybody else that want to offer a role or word of prayer in this circle can go right ahead. Slide out 48 for the block in the road. They should sleep right there. Yeah, come over here. I like the They want to pass? Uh, uh, Anybody that wants to pass can come. We'll move up here. Everybody come up here out of the road. Yeah, really, yeah, to me, no disrespect to the press, but we got to keep the media out of the press. So we're going to remember all of the victims. There's so many victims of these kind of injustices that we have faced. Okay, we'll start with this. What I'll do... is when we remember those that have suffered this kind of violence and persecution. Continue to hold hands. Say the names. Will you say the names, and then we all say, Ashe. Right. Yeah, I agree. Which is an African term, which means I agree. Or it means, and so it is. Let me hear you say, Ashe. 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 So when we talk about Emmett Till, and we pour it out for Emmett Till, we say, Ashe. And, we'll, and everyone will have their chance. <laughs> and we talk about the Scottsboro Boys. Uh, that were murdered in the South. Some of them just for, they say, just looking at white women. We pour it out for the Scottsboro boys. I say. We pour it out for that civil rights struggler, that freedom fighter who was gunned down at a young age in Mississippi. We pour it out for Medgar Evers. I say. We pour it out for all of those Africans that were tossed overboard because they had some kind of disease or illness that was given to them during the Middle Passage and they were just tossed overboard into the Atlantic Ocean. For all of those Africans, we pour it out. I say. Y'all can come on. We pour it out for Dr. Martin Luther King who lost his life trying to love. I say. I say. We pour it out for Rosa Parks who stood up for what was right. I say. I say. We pour it out for Malcolm X, who came back in the spirit and almost looked like a Malik Shabazz. I say. <laughs> we pour out for Ida B. Wells. I say. I say. We pour it out for a young dude, Jermaine Pope, crossing the bridge in Charleston, West Virginia, mm. going in the river. I say. I say. Dwayne Pope? Jermaine. Jermaine Pope. Let's pour it out for Jermaine Pope. I say. I say. We, pour we pour it out. out. We Come poured on. out for Nikki Miller, who lost her life in the streets of Charleston in 1988, and her murderer never brought to justice. Uh, right. uh, Shay. We poured out for Megan Williams, and the things happened to her. Yes, ma'am. Ashe. Uh, 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 poured out for all the brothers and sisters that's behind bars.